Hi, this is Joachim for statisticsblob.com and in this video I will show you how to change the background color of a ggplot2 plot in the R programming language. So in the video I'm going to show you several examples and all of these examples are based on the data frame that we can create with lines 2 to 3 of the code. So if you run these lines of code you will see that at the top right of RStudio a new data frame object is created. And if we want to plot these data we also need to install and load the ggplot2 package. And this is what we can do with lines 5 and 6 of the code. I have installed the package already, so I'm just going to load it with line 6 of the code. And after running this line of code, we are able to use the functions of the ggplot2 package. And in lines 8 to 9 of the code, I'm creating a basic scatter plot with the ggplot2 package. So we can also draw this scatter plot by running line 10 of the code. And then you can see at the bottom right of our studio that a scatter plot is created. And you can also see that this scatter plot has the default color specifications of the ggplot2 package. Now let's assume that we want to change the background color of the panel of this plot. Then we can apply the code that you can see in lines 12 and 13. So in these lines of code, I am first specifying the name of the plot that I have created before in lines 8 and 9. And I'm using this plot as a basement. And then I'm adding to this plot the theme function. And within the theme function, I'm specifying the panel background to be equal to the filling color that you can see here. So I'm using a hex code to specify my filling color. And as line around the panel, I'm simply specifying the color pink. So if you run these two lines of code, you will see that at the bottom right in our studio, a new plot is created. And as you can see, this plot has blue panels. So this blue color is corresponding to the hex code that I have used here and a pink line around the panel. Now, in the next example, I want to show you how to change the background of our plot. So here in this example, we have changed the panel color. And next, I want to change the background that is still white. So in this case, I'm using the code of lines 15 and 16. And again, I'm adding the theme function to our base plot. And then within the theme function, I'm specifying the plot background argument. Again, I'm using the same colors as before. So if I run these lines of code, then you can see that in the middle, the panel is back to the original colors that are specified within the ggplot2 package by default. However, you can also see that the background of our plot is blue and around this background, you see a small pink line. Yeah, so in the First and in the second example, I have shown you how to specify the colors of the background of your plot manually. However, the ggplot2 package provides also complete themes and uh, you can select one of these themes depending on how you want your plot to look like. So one theme that I want to show you, which is also very popular, is the theme BW. And if you want to change the theme of your plot, you simply need to add the name of the theme to your base plot. So if you run lines 18 and 19 of the code, you will see that the layout of the plot is completely different compared to the layout of the default specifications, even though we have just changed the theme that we are using. So there are multiple different themes available in the ggplot2 package and you can learn more about that in a tutorial that I have recently published on my homepage statisticsglobe.com because in this tutorial I'm discussing the R programming code that I have shown in this video and I'm also linking to a page where you can find all the themes that are available in the ggplot2 package. If you want to check out the tutorial I will put a link to this tutorial into the description of the video. And furthermore, if you have liked the video, I would be very happy if you leave me a comment or if you give me some positive feedback. And don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel in order to get notifications in future when I'm releasing new videos to the channel. 
That's it for this video. Thanks a lot. See you next time. Bye bye.